Hey everyone, it's me, Vanessa. I wanted to make an update for how my 16 week challenge went, but also goals that I have coming up because uh, I am training for my fourth half marathon. So I weighed in this morning at 158.6 pounds. So I am down 3.4 for this particular challenge. Uh, body fat wise, I started at 38% and now I'm at 36.6. And I will share in a minute about body fat and confusion and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but my muscle mass was at 58.8 at the beginning, and now I am up to 60.2%. And then also, I did lose one inch of my chest altogether, and I lost four inches around my waist, and I lost one inch around my hips, and then my arms and my legs stayed the same. So things are really, really going well as far as my goal. Um, but what I mean by body fat is I had my body fat checked by calipers at work uh, from a fellow also trainer that I work with, and they got me at a little under 23% body fat. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to go by. Um, it's kind of hard because I do have loose skin. And so it's really hard to know exactly how my body fat is. So I don't know. 22 actually is not bad. I don't think I'm 22 or 20, almost 23% body fat. I, I think I'm closer to the 30%. But anyway, so everything went well for this challenge. I did get significantly stronger. I ended with my bench press being 100 pounds for three reps, uh, two sets of those. Uh, I did deadlifts with 185 pounds for three, two sets. And then I also completed 185 pound hip thrust. I did 10 of those for two sets. And then what else? Military press was just the bar, so 45 pounds. But that was also after the bench press, so that's understandable. Um, what else was important? I think that's those are the really big lifts, was the, oh, the squat. I got to 115. Uh, for six reps. So doing really well. Actually, no, it was four and four. Four sets, four reps, I think. I don't know. But anyway, so I did really well as far as my strength. It had increased by a whole lot. I was very impressed. Uh, one example is when I was doing the bench press. Eight weeks ago, I was doing only four reps, 85 pounds. Now I can do 10 reps. At 85 pounds. So that just shows you just in that eight week time frame on how much I have increased my strength. Uh, so things went really, really well there. Um, now my goals for my half marathon training. My main goal is to of course run the half marathon. This will be my fourth one running. But also what I'm working on this month, the first four weeks, is stabilization. So a lot of single leg stuff, uh, focusing on the slow motion, connecting my brain with my muscles. So knowing exactly how to move and having that mind muscle connection. So that is my goal for this month, just to focus on that. Then the next four weeks, I'm gonna focus on muscular endurance. So it's heavier weight with pretty much high reps. And then I'm gonna work on hypertrophy after that. So I'm gonna go through my own three phase thing. So everything's gonna go four weeks uh, for stabilization, four weeks for muscular endurance, and four weeks for hypertrophy. And by the time that I finish those, I should be almost done and ready to run the half marathon. And then when I finish that, I think I will jump back into building strength because I liked, I, I really like hypertrophy training, right? It's that moderate to heavy weight for like, I would say a six to 15 rep range. I'm really enjoying though, working on some moves being that three to six rep range. So I'm, I'm loving working towards strength with hypertrophy. So I think, I think that's the way that I want to go. And I just felt just way stronger and it felt good. It really did. Now my diet. So May with my coworkers, uh, we're planning on doing a challenge for May. So that's why I got the body fat check. Um, and that's why I also checked my, my, you know, scale for my actual weight. 
Um, but so for the month of May, I had made a goal for all 31 days to track my calories on my fitness pal. So I am going to be tracking every single day for all 31 days because my goal is to stay or stay really close to being in a deficit to lose five pounds this month. So I would love to, if I can lose more, that would be cool. But I'm right at like the border when I started this challenge on May 1st, I was right on the border of 160. So I weighed in at 159.8 pounds. So I'm counting it like as 160 is what I weighed. And then my ultimate goal is to get below 155. So I'm pretty sure I can do that. I've already lost one pound just by getting back on track for one day. So that is, that's really my ultimate goal is just to get to 155 or under 155 because I felt my best between 150 and 155. I like the energy that I have to train the way that I was training at my current weight. I just don't like the way that I look. I liked the way that I looked when I was under 155. So that is my ultimate goal. Um, and because I'm working more on stabilization and endurance and also half marathon training, it should be easier for me to continue with a diet and stay in a deficit compared to me weight lifting for strength. So that is the goal <laughs> and to keep my actual, you know, weight around 150 to 155. And maybe in the future, if I cut and I, if I get into like a lower weight, that's okay. No big deal. But that's really not my goal. It's to stay under 155. So five pounds for this month, this May challenge. Um, and I'm already on day two. So I'm very happy about that. What else? That's pretty much it. I'm just, you know, still working, uh, still enjoying, you know, my programming and everything. And it's so funny because I just programmed my stuff today on day one that I was supposed to be working out. So that's really funny. So I'm only doing, like I said, three days of weight training that's working on stabilization this month. And I just came up with my program like that. <laughs> and then I was even like thinking, maybe I'll even just come on the fly and say, oh, let me do this instead of that. So that might happen too. But yeah, so I am doing three days of weight training, three days of running, working for that half marathon by the summer. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I might do videos again every four weeks, kind of like each phase. So that way you guys can see like my progress and stuff. And I'll mention my weight, especially with, that might be the end of the May challenge by the time that I make another video or will be close to the end. So I'll kind of give you guys an idea of where I'm at and, and what I need to do to get to the goal that I had made. But yeah, so five pounds, that's the goal. And then of course to run my half marathon this summer and maybe in the future a marathon, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's it, short and sweet, very, very easy and very boring. Uh, but yeah, so I'm doing well and I'm still, still working on it. Maintenance is awesome. I love, love, love that I'm still in maintenance. It feels so good. Um, yeah, but you guys take care. I will see you all in four weeks. Uh, to update you guys on how the half training is going and then also my stabilization workouts. But yeah, you guys take care. Bye for now.